This video is a little bit different than my usual. It's not a forecast. We're going to just talk about Jupiter, the movement of Jupiter, the retrogrades of Jupiter, and we're going to ground our understanding of how Jupiter is going to be moving through the stars between now and 2028. I'm doing this video and I'll show you why, because Jupiter is slowly retrograding in the very low degrees of a sign, which means that you'll see a lot of... of um, of updates from astrologer because Jupiter is going to be moving in between sign a fair amount uh, more than usual. So you'll see Jupiter is in this sign, Jupiter is retrograding in that sign, but this and studying the timing of it and studying the motion of it with each date it really grounds that understanding so that this dance of Jupiter can tune into your mind. You can be really have a bigger picture because in astrology, we always want to have a bigger picture. There's both the micro, the moment of Jupiter, the degrees, which nakshatra, which padas, and then the bigger picture of like, wow, Jupiter has this retrograde motions, which last about 120 days. And and slowly and slowly it moves a little forward every time it moves into a sign and, and retrogrades because that's where we are right now. You see, every time it's going to retrograde, it's going to be a little further in a sign, okay? Um, so let's ground Jupiter into our mind and our heart and our understanding. I'm just going to take you through the journey of Jupiter and its signs with the degrees and the retrogrades. So Jupiter is now in Gemini. It's been in Gemini for a while now. And on October 18th, it's going to move into sidereal cancer. This is Vedic astrology, sidereal zodiac, okay? Um, it's going to begin its incredible journey in cancer. It's going to travel to zero degree 57 of cancer. It's going to station there, get really strong. And it's going to begin moving backwards again, which is a regular movement of Jupiter. Okay, forward and backward. This retrograding is going to last about 120 days, okay? And because it's only at 057 degrees Cancer when it begins its retrograde, it's going to return to Gemini. So it's going to be in Gemini on December 5th, and it's going to stay there for a while. It's going to be in Gemini when it returns to its forward motion, 120 days after it goes retrograde at 20 degrees 52 Gemini. After that, it's going to be moving forward. It's going to be done with the retrograde. And on June 1st of 2026, Jupiter is going to enter Cancer. Okay? Re-enter Cancer, okay? Because it's already been in Cancer and moving backwards. And from there until October 31st, which is fast, right? June, July, it's about six months. Okay, that's about 275, 77 days for this one. But on average, it's about 275 days. Um, it's going to just move right through Cancer, the whole sign. Okay, that's going to be kind of the full transit. Okay, it's going to be this June 1st, 2026 until October 31st, 2026, when it enters Leo. It's going to enter Leo, okay? And then on December 13, 2026, it's going to arrive at 2 degrees 48 of Leo. It's going to station and it's going to be ready to retrograde. But again, it's in the low degrees. So what's going to happen? It's going to move retrograde. And by January 24, 2027, it's going to re-enter Cancer, okay? It's going to move through Cancer again it's going to get to 22 degrees 45 of Cancer. It's going to station there. And after being retrograde for 121 days, on April 17, 2027, Jupiter is going to move forward once again. And it's going to travel its final travel in Cancer on the 22 degrees 45 of Cancer until it reaches Leo on June 25. And that will finalize the journey of Jupiter through Cancer, okay? Isn't that epic? I think it's epic, but um, I love calculations. You might not see this part of me that's deep in my calculations, but I do these calculations, so um, yes. Yeah, so, And then again, it's going to repeat that journey, okay? Um, it enters Leo, finally, right? And for Leo, it's the same journey, right? Where it begun and then it went back and, and then it's going to go all the way through Leo about 275 days until it retrogrades and then it goes, uh, it's get, until it gets to Virgo, a few degrees in Virgo, at three degrees 16 in Virgo. 
and um, and at this point it's going to retrograde and it's going to re-enter Leo for a little bit until it gets to 23 degrees of Leo. You see how it's like going up a little bit. So it's moving forward with increase. You can see the increase of the foreign motion of Jupiter from the point where it goes retrograde, right? Because here it's at 057 of a sign, then it's traveled a little few degrees further, then a few degrees further, okay? And, and then slowly we're going to get out of this journey where Jupiter is uh, retrograding in between signs and we're going to have Jupiter doing a whole forward motion in a sign and doing a whole retrograde in that same sign, right? Before that cycle then breaks and it's in between sign again. So this is the Jupiter journey, okay? This is what's going to be happening. This is the dance of the stars, the dance that Jupiter is going to be divinely uh, blessing us with between now and 2028. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative. Drop me a little uh, sign. Let me know in the comments where your Jupiter is in your natal chart. Let me know which house Jupiter in Cancer is going to be for you. Obviously, Jupiter in Cancer is the exaltation sign of Cancer. So... Um, it will be a special time. So which, which house is getting this blessing for you? Let me know in the comments. Take care.